The Messerschmitt Me-163 Comet was the only rocket-powered aircraft ever to have been operational. His performance and some aspects of his design were unprecedented. One set a flight airspeed record of 1,130 kilometers an hour, or 700 miles per hour, in July 1944 that was unmatched by turbojet-powered aircraft for almost a decade. The type that entered combat against the Allies was the Messerschmitt Me-163B, an improvement over the first type. The fuel system used highly unstable propellants to achieve the high speeds. Both the fuel and the oxidizer were highly toxic. Quite a number of 163s were destroyed by fueling accidents. Some 400 B-1 production aircraft were built, armed with two 30mm Mk-108 cannon. But though an excellent weapon, the 163's very high speed and climb rate made it difficult for even talented pilots to take aim at an American bomber. The aircraft launched under its own power, dropping a main gear dolly or wheel assembly. The 163 would then climb rapidly to altitudes of 35,000 to 40,000 feet, that is nearly 11,000 to 12,000 meters which was very hard on the pilots in an unpressurized cockpit breathing pure oxygen, then dive back through the enemy bomber formation, firing on each pass. Fuel lasted for only seven minutes, after which the ME-163 turned into a very maneuverable glider and glided down to its base, landing using a retractable skid. The aircraft was then recovered by a special tractor. When making their powered firing passes, the 163 was almost impossible to shoot down. They were very small and flashed by the lumbering B-17s and were considerably faster than piston-engine P-51 Mustang escort fighters. In fact, 163s were most vulnerable during the glide stage as they landed back at their base and several were successfully shot down by Mustangs. However, occasionally P-51s managed to dogfight with ME-163s that were flying at full power in amongst the bomber streams. One, Jagdgeschwader 400, the first operational 163 squadron based at Brandis, 16 kilometers east of Leipzig, was alerted on the 2nd of November 1944 to an incoming US AAF bomber stream. The B-17s were to bomb German synthetic gasoline works at Leuna. A flight of 11 ME-163s was scrambled to meet the threat, quickly powering up towards the bombers high above. Captain Fred W. Glover, the U.S. 4th Fighter Group, was flying as part of a large screen of P-51 Mustangs when he sighted a contrail climbing rapidly towards the bomber stream. The ME-163 pulled up level with the bombers at 25,000 feet and turned back towards the stream in a slight dive. Glover quickly jettisoned his auxiliary fuel tanks and headed for the 163 on a converging course. The 163 passed in front of him. Glover made a quick 90-degree turn and fell in behind the German aircraft. He fired, hitting the tail, wings and cockpit from 400 yards. The belly of the aircraft exploded. Glover overshot and looked back. The 163's tail was nearly gone and the cockpit was damaged. Glover pulled up to look for another target as the 163 plunged to earth. Its pilot, Oberfeldwebel Gunther Andreas, bailed out and survived. Meanwhile, Captain Louis H. Norling, leading the 335th Fighter Squadron of the 4th Fighter Group, spotted a 163 dropping down on his 6 o'clock. He dumped his auxiliary tanks and set his new K-14 gun sight and went full throttle after the target, just out of range. He managed to get on the 163's tail and followed him down. The 163 just started to pull away when Norley fired a few bursts, hoping the 163 would turn. He did. As the 163 went into a port turn, its speed fell off. Norley closed rapidly. He got a couple of strikes on the tail from 250 to 50 yards at 450 miles per hour. He throttled back but couldn't stay on the turn with the 163 due to excessive speed. Overshooting the German aircraft, he pulled up and got onto his tail again. Closing to 400 yards, he fired and registered tail strikes. 
the 163 rolled over and plummeted straight down from 8,000 feet. It slammed into a small village and the aircraft exploded, its pilot, Oberfeldwebel Jakob Bollenrat, being killed instantly. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share and also support my channel at PayPal and Patreon. Details in the description box below.